could be me and Picasso. <laughs> I hope that they made a fake bird. Raise and shine! Hello, my fellow snippers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this here is Brando. Look at her face, she's looking at me like, are you gonna introduce me or what? Yes, this is Brando, and she's got eyes on my finger, and I love to annoy her. Anyway guys, where is my early bird squad at? Don't forget to hashtag below so I could see those of you who are first. And let me give out a couple of shout outs to my flighters. Shout out to Annie Bates, Jane Guy, and Edwin Roses. All right guys, I'm really excited about our video today. Don't forget to wait till the end of this video to see which one of your birds I have featured. I love watching your birds on Instagram. So if you hashtag pick me Marlene, then you are officially submitting your entry to be on the channel. So I'm really excited about that. All right, let's get right into the video. Let's do my reactions to these video clips of parrots in movies, which I did not choose. As you know, Meg Han, M-E-G-H-A-N, chose them for me. So I haven't seen them. She actually wouldn't let me see them. I actually tried, but I, I tried without thinking. Like, I wasn't thinking like, oh, this needs to be a surprise. I'm just like, oh, bird videos. And she's like, no, no, no. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be expecting. Like, what can be in a, a movie that I would have to react to, but let's see. Here we go. So the first one is from Jack and Jill. Is this a movie? Yeah. Nick Han says it's a movie. With Adam Sandler. Oh, it's a quick clip. So let's see this. Oh, you can eat. <laughs> Go for it, Toothy. Have a chocolate bed. That's it. That's. I have seen a meme going around of that. I didn't know it was from a movie. Thought it wasn't real. No, I. I might have even just thought it was real. That's not a real bird. Why didn't no one tell me? Is this bird like? prominent in this film because like I thought I watched every bird film. I don't really like this kind of movie with like silliness, you know? So that's why I probably didn't watch it. But let's just say there's a small amount of accuracy here. <laughs> I'm not saying it would ever happen. Um, I think most birds would be scared of it and, and this wouldn't really happen. But the mentality behind it of a bird wanting something so bad, like, you know, when you crack open a bag of chips and you're like, this ain't healthy for you, but I'm gonna do it. And the bird's like, that's what I get from this. Oh my God. I, I didn't even get to the part of like, chocolate isn't good for birds. I'm just like, the bird's feathers would have been ruined. I don't even know, like, do you think that's funny? I don't know that it's funny. You can do that too, but don't do that ever. But honestly, we're never gonna have that fountain thing in our house because we're just not that extra, you know? Let's see what else Meg Han has sent me. Duplex. She has not specified if this is a movie, but I see this guy's face here. He's always in movies. You don't know who that is? I do know who it is, <laughs> but I don't like him. <laughs> he signifies to me silliness. I don't like silliness. Let's see what's going wow. on. Wow. <laughs> what an amazing apartment. Oh, thank you, dear. Sit down. We, uh, we brought you this little housewarming gift. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I'll open it for you. I don't drink myself. It's a sin. I like her because she's Irish. Irish Catholics don't drink. <laughs> she's funny. Oh, I'm just taking a few little pictures for research. Over here. If I knew you were coming, I'd have tied it up. Hey, Nancy. Yeah. Blow me down. If, 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 if there's oh, an accident. Oh, did you say? Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm coming. Slowly but surely. Sit down, dear. Oh. Sit down. I brought you a little something to nibble on as well. His feathers are not in great condition. How would they even put a bird in a movie with not that great feather conditions? 
That terrible chip. A what? A bugle. The hell is a bugle? Looks like a those corn chips. He's a macaw. He's named after a lady. Macaw is a Karen. I've had little Dick for forty years. Hmm. I like that. Okay, I never. Yeah, it looks like you know, it's like when you run out of snacks. And, but first of all, this bird is not in good condition. Like I'm, like that's really accurate. You're trying to eat something, and the bird wants a piece. And what else is accurate about this is like there's there's no way whatever that chip is a beautiful that the bird wouldn't want it or be eating it too. So that's accurate for those of you who don't understand that like birds want to eat people food. Not that it's the healthiest thing to give the birds, I'm just saying. This is honest bird behavior here. <laughs> like in acting terms, the bird is is living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. The bird is very Meisner. Oh, uh, his feathers, not in such great condition, but other than that, very exciting to see a cute bird living in that scene the way I feel like a bird would really live. That I don't think I've seen in movies a lot. Interesting note for those of you guys who might like to know this because when I found out, I was like, this is so amazing. So when you do a SAG film, which is the actor's union, you definitely want to have your movie be SAG, then obviously you are held to different standards. So if you have an animal in a SAG film, you have to make a phone call and then someone comes out and sits on set and like someone you don't even know and make sure that the animal is treated well and they become an advocate for the animal. Even if it's like I make a movie and um, I submit that my bird is in it because I want it to be a SAG film, then someone will come out and like advocate for the bird and be like, no, it worked too much. Now it needs a break. Did it have food? And then like when I heard that, I almost cried. I'm like, oh my God. So when you see at the bottom of a movie, no animals were harmed, that is not just a fact, that is like kind of like a, like a stamp of, yeah, we made sure that no animals were harmed and we had that like legitimate approval. So I think that's like an interesting fact for you guys to know. Let's see the next one. <laughs> My favorite movie. What are you doing? Rio. You what? You can't what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's nothing really to say about this, except that I think that the animated movies are so accurate with the way birds move. All the rest of the stuff is, you know, the story and all that is, is whatever it is. It's like, you know, fabricated clearly, because, you know, but they're just so cute. You guys, I don't know if you guys know, but Rio is based off of a semi-true story. So it's inspired by a true story of the Spix macaws. This is my favorite thing about it. The Spix macaws are pretty much extinct in the wild and definitely in the pet trade or the exotic bird trade. So it'd been a very long time before anyone saw a Spix macaw. And then there was a lady and she had what she knew to be a Spix macaw and she called the pet store and she said, hey, I need some help. I have like a Spix macaw and uh, the bird store was like, no, no, you don't. Like you probably like, what do you have? You have a blue macaw? Like do you have a hyacinth? What do you have? And she's like, no, I have a Spix macaw. And they're like, no way, that bird is extinct. So they sent somebody out or she brought it in and basically they were like oh my god you really do have one and then it kind of propelled into you know them trying to find the bird of mate and I don't know what happened in her personal story from there but um, basically this whole movie is based off of that and I just love this movie and not only that but back when I met George, he had like those spiky hairs and like he would wear glasses like that. So when I went to see the movie in the theaters with my family and I'm a bookworm, so like I was like, we were watching it and my dad goes, oh, there's Marlene. Like, you know, cause there's like the bird in the bed and everything and like trying to get her attention and she's reading. And then when George shows up, oh see, I believe it that hard. And then when the guy shows up, my dad's like, oh, there's Georgie. And 
then we have the same shoes like when she's at the carnival part like these shoes that she wore are rare like I bought like five pairs of them just so I'd never run out of those heels and she wore them and so it was, it was kind of insane I I'm all for this movie okay so what reading this comment people are saying that they thought blue was physically incapable of flying and then when he did fly they were overcome with so much emotion that's Hollywood for you I love that. So let's go on to the next movie. I know this movie. This is the movie Polly. When I was a kid, movies that I saw as a kid, I remember so well. Movies that I saw later on in life, like I could watch a movie yesterday and like don't even remember it. It's really weird. And then like, like movies, you think that in the business I'm in, I should, but I just, it's like, there's no room. So I'm afraid to watch this because maybe it's the wrong house. It's always the wrong house. You? It's me, Polly. It's Marie. No. Polly. Torture. Don't be afraid. I just grew up. That's all. Go away. Oh, Leave me alone. You mad? She left him. Polly. I'm sorry. We are in shock. Polly. Come back here. It's not Marie. It's not her. You're the song that the tree sings. Oh my God, she's singing. When the wind blows. Marie. Marie! <laughs> that would be me and Picasso. My little neighbor, Kimmy. Kimmy. Oh, I thought it was married. gonna be her daughter. The one who helped me when I was little. Uh huh. He's home. Can I play with him sometime? Yes. Why the heck did she even leave him in the first place? Forgot that part. <laughs> I I can't thank you enough. You're welcome. So. Uh, so let's go on a date then. Oh, no, me don't and you sure. can be parents together. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, you you will have much. To talk you about. and the bird will have a lot to Goodbye. talk about. <laughs> Goodbye, Paul. Oh no, he's leaving. Where are you going? No, no, leave. It's like Nora and Maddie and the she two Senegals. I bet she has books on her table. Polly. What is he talking about? I forgot where this takes place. Sure. But it seems like somewhere in South America. I'd love it if you stayed. What a natural beauty she is. You know, I would like that. I would like that very much. <laughs> Megan told me it's set in New Jersey. Okay, New Jersey makes sense because I'm from New Jersey and I feel like this happened to me. <laughs> they go and they live happily ever after in their cottage. That was... I'm gonna kill you, Megan. <laughs> Okay, Monty Python video. Hello, I wish to register a complaint. Hello, miss. What do you mean, miss? I had to make that bigger, is that? No, I'm sorry, I have a cold. I wish to make a complaint. Oh, sorry, uh, we're closing for lunch. Never mind that, my lad. I wish to complain about this parrot, what I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh, yes, sir, the Norwegian Blue. Is that? I tell you what's wrong with it, my lad. It's if that bird it's moves, I'm gonna freak out. No, no, that no, has got it. to to get no, that no, bird no. like I that. I know parrot when I see one, and I'm looking at one right now. No, that's not dead. It's uh, resting. Resting? Yeah, resting. I hope that they made a fake bird. Beautiful plumage. And use that plumage for this part. Enter into it. It's stone dead. No, it's resting. All right then, if it's resting, I'll wake it up. Hello, Polly! I've got a nice fresh cuttlefish for you if you wake up, Mr. Polly Parrot! There he moved. No, he didn't. That was you. There's no the way. Cage. With him hitting the cage, that bird better not be real. Hello, Polly! Oh, that's fake. Okay. No. You're serious? There was no relevance to that. The parrot didn't even like, come alive to like solidify a joke. It's so ridiculous. I don't even get it. Like, I mean, I, I can at least admit that like I didn't see the whole film, so maybe I'm missing out. But like, uh, I think 
we can overall sum up that parrots are not represented well in movies. Disappointing find that I learned today. <laughs> Let me know guys if if you want me to do another one of these, please suggest movies that you'd like me to do it for down below. I enjoyed this so much, I'm really excited about it, but not excited so much because I really think that birds are not portrayed well. I think the best movie was Polly because I can't talk about Polly. <laughs> It's like too much, but it's it's like yeah, the best movie was Polly. The bird in the movie Duplex was represented really accurately and how it is to live with birds. The bird wasn't in a cage. The bird was out. The old lady obviously practices in cage, not cage. But um, the bird's feathers weren't you know in the best condition. And I think that like as a movie director, uh, maybe you know should be a little more educated on how to choose the birds for the film, but it might be hard due to the fact that maybe birds under those kind of conditions get a lot of stress, there's a lot of action on movie sets, there's a lot of waiting around. So this was a lot of fun for me. There was a lot of exciting things, a lot of atrocities. I think we all need to do better to represent birds in film. So any of you directors that are watching, writers, make sure that you, you, you do better. If you are watching, you probably already have birds and you probably already know. If you are are watching don't forget to cast me <laughs> my birds are outstanding actors I really wanted to make a poly sequel and um, the distributor of one of my films was like you need to make a bird movie don't forget to watch sniffers my movie but there is one curse word in it so if you have kids and you don't want them to see that then don't do it don't forget to hashtag pick me Marlene on Instagram so I can showcase one of your birds. Stay tuned to see which one of you is showcased right now. Also, let me know in the comments movies that you want me to review. This was so much fun for me. Maybe let, also share with me your opinions on the movies and stuff that like I didn't notice. Let Megan know in the comments that you loved this video idea. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe because when you subscribe, it means to me that we have people that really believe in the cause of Engaged Not Caged and really believe in living with birds as your family members. And you know, you just wouldn't like keep dogs in a kennel and make reason to believe that's okay. So let's just be better for our birds. And if you love this shirt, go check out other shirts like it because I believe this one's discontinued on www.parrotstation.com where you can also get birds bird toys and uh, lots of other exciting things like bird tea and also Marlene's signature blend for your birds. Rando has just been an angel through this video, not like Cody, who literally did my hair in the video. And that is why I love mustache bird feeds. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>